Please pause this video and try the problem on your own. All right, let's start by reading this problem. It says a student was given the equation x squared plus 6x minus 13 equals 0. So I'm going to actually write that down right now. I like to write these problems down as I go. x squared plus 6x minus 13 equals 0. All right, so the student was given this problem to solve by completing the square. The first step that was written is shown below. So here's the first step. So I'm going to ask, how did they get x squared plus 6x equals 13? How would they do that? Well, they would add 13 to both sides. I know they're not asking this, but I like to think about these questions as we go. So here I know what's been done so far. I know that they've added 13 to both sides. So this gives us x squared plus 6x equals 13. So what are they going to ask us now? Let's see. The next step in the student's progress process was x squared plus 6x plus c. And notice they're adding c to both sides. Why? To keep the equation balanced. So take the value of c that creates a perfect square trinomial. So they're asking us to complete the square. Now to do that, we take our b value right here. So b equals 6. We take that value, divide it by 2, and square it. This always ensures that, um, in this case, it would be right, 6 divided by 2, which is 3 squared, which is 9. This ensures that we have what's called a perfect square trinomial. That's this thing right here. It's a perfect square. If we add 9 on both sides, this equation will be balanced. So that, that means that c has to equal 9. There's a lot of mathematics in that step right there. You might want to check some other videos to see what's going on. But basically, take the number next to the x, the coefficient, whether it's positive or negative, divide by 2 and square it, and add that piece to both sides of your equation. Explain how the value of c is determined. Oh, well, you can say that b equals 6. Then, you take b divided by 2 and square it, and that's 6 divided by 2 squared, which equals 3 squared, which equals 9. That's how the value is obtained. And that would, I think, be sufficient, right? Uh, you might want to add some words in there as well. All right, hope this helped.